Here's how four men took on the Bristol Omnibus Company and ended their racial hiring bar. In 1963, Guy Bailey, a young black man living in Bristol, England, was turned down for an interview because he was West Indian. The interview was actually set up as a test by social worker and activist Paul Stevenson, who wanted to prove that the company would not hire a black driver. After getting this proof of discrimination, Stevenson, Bailey, and four other young black men based in Bristol worked together to form a boycott. Roy Hackett, Audley Evans, Owen Henry, and Prince Brown began their citywide boycott on the 30th of April, 1963. The boycott was peaceful and encouraged people to refuse travel by bus or disrupt bus services by sitting or standing in the street, as well as marching for the cause. After pushback and months of negotiation, but also huge support from Bristol students, MPs, and the High Commissioner for Trinidad and Tobago, the boycott ended with success. On August 28th, the company announced that they would be ending their color bar hiring policy, and they actually did. In September 1963, Rakhbir Singh, who was Punjabi, Norman Samuels, and Norris Edwards from Jamaica were all hired as Bristol's first non-white bus drivers.